we look, I mean, it's interesting because people have, have given us all sorts of reasons why crowds are up and down. We've looked back now uh, to 1990, 1991. So we've gone back 13, 14 years on crowds. And the average crowds have, have varied from 3,000 to just in excess of 2,500 to over 7,000. And back in, in the years 98, 99, 99, 2000, uh, 2000, 2001, and 2001, 2002, to just above 3,000 again. So what is absolutely consistent with all of this is that when you win, people come and watch you. When you struggle and you're in mid-table and you've been in a league for a number of years, your crowds tend to dwindle. Take into account also external factors like uh, recessions as well. Um, that doesn't help, but for sure the graphs tend to very much reflect the fact that when you're winning, then people turn up. We've also got to take into account, of course, in that period of time since the formation of the Premier League in 1992, They've got a totally different product that's selling football on TV seven days a week. Uh, and we're going back now and in times which were beyond that, really, and where they were only on once and twice a week. Now they're on seven days a week. So people have genuinely got a choice. They don't need to come down to the stadium to, to watch their local team. They can watch whatever team they support and usually see them on most weeks. And by match choice, they can virtually see whoever they want on Saturday night at the Premier League. So, very different game now in a very different marketplace that way. So, um, that's where we were last year. We're going into a new year with new confidence, new manager, um, new cost base. And um, we've got to go forward with confidence, disappointingly, out of the football trophy, which is the Johnson Paints. Um, and the League Cup, although I thought we did well the first time against Blackburn, the second one against Leicester, um, you don't know at the time so early on, but Leicester have become one of the form teams of the Championship and look as though they're going to make that push into the Premiership, so we were probably playing a team that was really advancing forward. And uh, we move on to the FA Cup and tomorrow and Brentford, big, big game, big game. I've got my fingers crossed and everything else. We've said a number of times, John, that, I mean, I've said it myself, the aim of this club is to get to the Championship. That has to be yeah. the first step of our Holy Grail. Yeah. With all of these measures that we've had to take, yeah. is it still achievable? Yeah, it's always going to be, t it's getting tougher and tougher and tougher. Um, that's for sure. And I was at a football league meeting yesterday, a uh, board meeting where Championship people there who are not getting parachute payments, i.e., should we say, the bottom half of the Championship, Milwaukee, um, who are really struggling to keep pace with the halves in the championship, those that have got huge amounts of money that are coming out of parachute payments. And uh, they've got a major problem. So we've got to get there, but we know when we get there, we're going to have God's own job to stay. Uh, but that's the challenge. And if we're not up for the challenge, we shouldn't be putting football on here every week. Um, Carlisle is a city is something that we're, we're proud of and so we wanted to go forward, we want to be in the championship. When we get the championship, to be honest, our vision is we go at the highest level we possibly can. Anybody can do a Yeovil, anybody can do a Blackpool and you've just got to keep pushing and going. Whether the, you know, how, how much you can support and what you can pay would be limited and limited purely by the size of the audience that you can play to. But then we would push it to the absolute limit, which is why we have to have everything in place to ensure that when we get to the championship and we'll never ever employ a manager and we won't employ players that don't ever believe that they can get to the next level and the next level for us is the championship so we've got to have everything in place so when they get there and they'll get there that they have a chance of staying there so that we don't have to take anything away from them on that extra income so that they get every single penny of the extra income on the playing side to try and stay there. I am sure that's what Yeovil are trying to do this season. Absolutely positive. Trying to stay in the championship by spending every single penny on the team, not on, uh, is it the Hewish where they play? Nothing of, of that at all. They haven't even got a youth team. They've abandoned that this season just. So they're spending every penny on trying to stay there.